Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and I do a series on YouTube, Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2019. Uh, that series is entering its sixth season now, and I've had a few requests to provide some support on what mod I'm using for that series and how to install it. So I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. So here is a how-to on downloading, installing, and setting up your game in Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2019 using the full college mod. So to start, you're going to have to open your browser to find the mod. Whether, you're, whether you got the game from Wolverine Studios itself or whether you purchased the game on Steam, and if it did come from any other platforms, I'm not quite sure how to do this, but it should apply uh, accordingly. It, it comes down mostly to where the file is located. Uh, once you get that part figured out, everything should translate uh, the same from that point on. So to start, uh, the way to find the mod is it is on wolverinestudios.com. So it is on their website. Uh, from there, you could go slash board and skip this step, but if you want to take the back door away, uh, this is how to get there. So, Wolverine Studios, and if you scroll down, these are the games that they offer right now. We are talking about the college basketball game, so if we were to click on that, uh, at that point, it's going to take you into the, the sales page uh, where you can pick up the game or the demo. Uh, if you've never tried it, feel free to pick up the demo. Uh, great series of text-based uh, games here that are great, great management games. So if you're into management games, uh, I encourage you to try everything that Wolverine Studios has to offer, and they are continue, continuing to produce games year after year here. Uh, anyway, from here, uh, we've got a series of links at the top bar, and community is the one that we're interested in. This is what brings you to the board. Okay, uh, Now, Located here is the Wolverine Studios mods, so they have links to mods themselves. Uh, so great, great forum that they have set up. Lots of uh, discussion stuff, uh, links to various games. There's links to uh, the Dynasty YouTube channels and, and individual games that people aren't posting. Uh, anyway, lot, lots of good stuff here. Uh, for college basketball, this would where you would go to get... Uh, updates to the game. Uh, if you have questions about the game, definitely check this out. Uh, NCAA Hoops is on here all the time, uh, along with Point Guard and others. But what, what we're interested for this video is the mods, and so make sure you find the College Basketball, so D DDS College Basketball 2019 mods, and we're going to go into there. Okay, And it's the full college mod. Uh, that is the prim primary. There are some other mods as well, uh, and feel free to check those out. Uh, but the main one that most people use, and you can see just from the number of views and posts, uh, the main one is the full college mod. Now it's been updated multiple times. Uh, it is currently in version uh, 1.10. Uh, I'm actually currently using version 1.05. Uh, and the updates in between are not updates that I necessarily need to apply uh, to my series. I'm not too worried about that. I'm kind of past that point as we're entering Season 6 where the, that's going to be very relevant for my playthrough. Uh, and so I'm, I'm content with uh, version 1.05 that I'm using right now. Uh, but in here, uh, you get a good description of what's going on with the mod. Uh, the basic... Part of the mod is going to uh, make the real conferences, teams, logos, uh, jerseys, uh, and the on-court jerseys uh, in the 2D or 3D version that they have of, uh, uh, oh, what do you call that, the, their game representation. Uh, the more comprehensive, the deeper versions, which take a little more work to set up, you get the coaches. Uh, and historical stats. Uh, these are those recent updates that I'm not too worried about. There's a few facilities that have been updated, uh, some coaches, like new coaches that have 
some updated information about them uh, and the tournaments, uh, tournament courts that are coming up. That's the one that I would be like, maybe I want that, but the others, I'm, I'm not too worried about those. Uh, but that's the latest version. Uh, there are lots of information down below on how to install and kind of how to go from there. Uh, but ultimately, uh, this is the mod that you want to get. And uh, follow the link. Where did that link go? There. Uh, so follow the link to download. All right, I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that again. But once it is downloaded, uh, you'll open up that zip folder, and it's going to have a .exe uh, uh, to execute that file. Uh, so when you open that, and I'll go ahead and do that, uh, once you get that open, it's going to take you through the process to install uh, the mod. And that part uh, will be pretty straightforward on what to follow. Oh, I've already got the game open. Uh, well, like I said, it's straightforward to follow. Uh, just know where you're downloading the file. Uh, so where you're going to have that installed and then uh, run the install. Okay. Once you've done that, it will automatically put the files within your Draft A Sports College Basketball folder. Now, if you downloaded the game direct from Wolverine Studios, if you purchased it from them directly, uh, it's probably going to be on your C drive in a Wolverine Studios folder with Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2019. Okay, uh, from there, okay, you're going to have uh, the game itself, the game folder there, and in imports. Uh, it's going to automatically put things into graphics, adding them there, and then it's also going to add this series of folders into imports. Uh, what you need to do to follow the instructions is going to be located within here. But before I open that up, uh, many of you may have purchased the game from Steam. Now for me, I, I had the game back when it was in uh, beta, and then once it went on full launch, it actually was still a short period of time before they put it onto Steam. Now the 2017 I had through Steam uh, a, a while after it was downloaded, uh, but when I went for the 2019 version of the game, uh, I got it prior to that. So I have that PC version. Now if you had the Steam version, uh, here's a recent post where someone was looking for exactly what you're looking for, the real world mod, mod and how to get it, how to download it. So uh, the only difference between what I had after the install part and what you would have if you've got it from Steam is this would be your your link to follow from there. So the, f the update, the mod itself, uh, most of the contents are within the graphics portion and this is how you would find it. So program files, the 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2019. And it's graphics or where I just was a moment ago, and I'll go back to that in just a second, imports. So this is how to get to where I'm going for that one. So it's interchangeable. Once you get here, it's going to be the same thing. All right. So I'm into that imports file uh, folder, and here are the instructions. Okay. And actually, hold on. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this with Chrome instead of Edge because Edge is my default and I don't use it. All right, so here we go. Uh, so this is from NCAA Hoops. And again, I'm using version 1.05. Uh, if you have the latest, that's 1.10, but it will be the same instructions to follow from there. Uh, so be sure to read these instructions. They're, they're pretty clear on what to do. Uh, but some of you like visual representation, that's why we're here, and that's why I'm doing this. So, uh, the basic mod, again, the conferences, the teams, the logos, and the jerseys uh, are all part of that. And as long as you select the, the right folder, all of those will be included. But then you have some options on a more comprehensive version of the mod that include coaches and the historical stats. Uh, as the main additional features and like I said there are different options on, on what that comes with uh, and be sure to read the details on kind of what what it is what that includes but here's how to set it up so 
this is now contained within the folder and accessible, but you're going to have some steps to follow to get this into the game. Okay, it happens when you start your new game, right? and you, it doesn't matter whether you're choosing challenge, sandbox, or multiplayer mode, uh, but you're going to enter your file name, and then your first set of edits, and, and I'll show you how to do this in a second, uh, your first set of edits is getting the right tournaments named uh, as the default name does alter this for licensing purposes. So you'll have to change the names uh, and then you'll have to browse and choose your logo. So I'll show you how to do this uh, in just a second. But the next step after that uh, is to customize game and this is where you're going to import the roster file. This is where you'll bring in the basic or the more advanced games. So if you start up your game, uh, I'm on version 1.3 now. This is the latest version from Wolverine Studios. Uh, you'll select a new game. Again, you're going to choose your mode. So challenge, uh, save your file name, uh, we'll call this test. Uh, I'm not worried about changing either of these things. But here's where those tournaments come in. So the championship tournament is the NCAA tournament. And then we have the NIT the CBI, and the CIT tournaments. So you'll need to change your names for these. Okay, and then browse to choose your logo. Now here's the pathing for this one. Again, this is in my C drive uh, because I got it direct from Wolverine Studios. Follow that same pathing to get, uh, if you're on the Steam, the Steam apps common, uh, to get to your Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2019 to this point. All right, so follow that previous step to get to the graphics, and then you'll open logos if it doesn't automatically bring you here. From here, we're choosing association, and you can see all the options that we have, all the conferences and everything, the tournaments are all in here. Okay, And take your pick of logo, I'll just go ahead and select this one, and you can see how that's now altered from the default logo in-game. From here, you, your choices start to become normal on how you would build your game. Okay, So either standard, and you could possibly have the conference movement, uh, co conference movement as teams might move from conference to conference, or uh, like I have for my series, you have a promotion relegation option. I love this option. It is fantastic, especially with this many teams and this many conferences. There's a lot of upward or downward mobility uh, which creates a whole another element to the game. But for this one, we'll go ahead and stick with standard. Make sure you, from here you're going to go into Customize Game. Uh, again, you have some basic options on how you're going to display the ratings, injury factors, illegal recruiting, whether underclassmen will declare for the draft, how hard, uh, whether you're going to have job level pressure, uh, all of that. From here though, it's the import roster file that you're going to need. And then this should pop up automatically, but if it doesn't, this is right back there to the imports. In fact, it's below here. It's not a selectable option, uh, but this was right where those instructions were. Let's go back for a moment and look at those instructions so you know how to make sense of what these folders are. This is the default one by the way. So this is what's automatically selected in game and if we don't change, if we don't select one of these others, nothing's going to really show up unless you literally go team by team by team uh, to figure this out. So that folder that we opened, right, that had the instructions, the how to use, this is where we're at right now, the importing the roster file. Well, what file do we want? Here are those file options and what they mean. Okay, so here's that default file. From here you have conference, team, and no stats. So if you want a pretty basic introduction that just brings in the real teams, this is it. But if you want real stats, but the stats that are provided by Wolverine Studios, this will give you that. Same thing here, but now we have the sports reference website. 
So a more developed, more advanced version of the stat in uh, file C. File D is the conferences, teams, and coaches, but no stats. And then you've got the additional options for stats from Wolverine Studios or Sports Reference. And then finally, we have Team Adjusted, which is the most up-to-date, and I'm sure it's more up-to-date than this by this point, uh, if you're on version 1.10. Uh, but this will get you the most current, accurate to what's going on in 2019 as of the latest update. Okay. There's some other information as well. But from here, this is your choice on which one you're going to go with. Now, for my series, I went with something, I think it was either D or E. I think I used E, I believe, uh, which was the conferences, the teams, the real-life coaches, plus stats from Wolverine Studios entering the 2019 season, 2018-2019 season. Uh, so 19E was that option. Now, if I'm going back over to the game... Uh, we're already in this area, so 19E, I believe, was the option I used. I'll go ahead and select that one again this time. And now, uh, that'll give me that option. Now, you can still go further and customize things, uh, but from here, we should start to get the real teams, the real conferences, Conference USA, Alabama, Birmingham, Rice, everybody on through. Okay, uh, Conference that I attended, Pac-12. Uh, Oregon and the other schools are all here. You can still edit things, you can still change things, you can still change the logos even further if you want. You can go through and change the teams. So here's the university that I attended and their options. It's all set up already for you. Okay, so they have this information all in there, but if you want to have a custom team like I did for my series, this is where you would do that. You take one of those real life teams and you change it however you want. Even further, you have the option to uh, change players, get through all that, uh, make your own. But this is where you're going to create your player. So this is going to be. Uh, Test DG, DG for Decathlon Gamer, and uh, let's see, Dream Job, well, it's got to be Oregon, right? Go Ducks. Okay, and I'm not going to bother changing any of this right now, uh, as obviously we're just doing this for, uh, for a test, but from there, select a coaching job, what you want. And let's go with, uh, we'll say, uh, Niagara. Uh, got a small link to Niagara back in the day. Uh, oh, gosh. Let's see. This would be um, oh, somewhere right around 9-11. So talking close to 18 years ago, uh, I, I helped train a brand new officer in the Army. Uh, on kind of the life of the regular Joe, the regular soldier, and he uh, he had graduated from Niagara. All right, so advance create. This is going to take a little time uh, to set everything up, uh, but we're going to take a chance here and go back and look at some things. So uh, again, the the imports is here. Uh, the graphics are here, and you're going to have lots and lots of options uh, from the coaches, the default, the uh, all the different courts. Um, this is all, should be, as long as you installed it to the right folder, same folders we're looking at, uh, all of this will already be here in-game. Uh, so all the different courts um, are available to you here. So like Portland State, uh, Pilots, that's their court. Uh, Nebraska. Oh, no, that's Nebraska. Okay, looks like it's already gone through, so we'll continue and load. All right, so it brings you into game. Now, once you're in game, 
uh, there's still going to be a few more steps that you could take or you can go from here uh, because you can see that it's already set up this is Niagara uh, the other teams the other the other conferences they're all going to be here these are all the real guys but from here uh, you can take it a little bit further by going to options and then you have tournament options now the tournaments themselves are still the default in game tournaments so like the coaches classic now if we go back uh, to those instructions for a moment up here right where we had the how to use uh, proceed as normal that's where we're at we're in game you've got your college league if you want though you can go a little bit further and rename all the in-game conference tournaments or or just non-conference tournaments uh, and change them to the real ones so the one we were looking at there coaches classic 2k sports classic is the actual one so if we go back to the game for a moment and i'm not going to do all of these uh, just follow these instructions for each one but the coaches classic right that's the 2k sports classic you'll change the name directly here and then you're going to need to browse for the logo and we've left off here in the association one uh, where we selected the the logo there and let me see if I can find the there we go two 2k sports classic right there so you're gonna open that and then make sure you hit update to save and you'll go through tournament by tournament and be able to uh, rename everything so Hawaiian shootout so on and so forth uh, so that's the first big step on how to get things updated and then Again, if you want, you can go another step further, and you can go in if you didn't do this uh, initially, go through and make the updates. So you can alter uh, your team information. Uh, you can change the team logo from here. Uh, you can browse and select a new home court, change the jerseys, and then you can select a non-conference rival that will be on your non-conference schedule every year, season after season. So all of that's available in School Info. That last piece was available in Options. And the rest of it, and importing it all at once, is that import roster file. So I think that should just about cover uh, what those options are. Again, it comes down to installing everything in the right place. And then mostly follow the directions here on how to use. There's all of those tournaments and what they actually are. A um, little bit of manual work to get that one done. Make sure you hit update each time after you uh, choose the logo and change the name to get that uh, all in there. And then make sure you're choosing the right import file uh, to get the preferences that you want from conferences, teams, and then on to coaches and whether you want the stats or not, and whether you want the most current information that they have. Uh, but thank you to NCAA Hoops for providing this mod. They're the ones who put in the work. I had nothing to do with that. I just happened to use it for a series. But if you're interested, the link to this mod is going to be in the description below, and also a link to the first episode of my series, uh, that I'm actively doing here on YouTube. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped you uh, get this mod installed and active for your own series and for your own enjoyment in Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2019. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.